Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Just wanted to jump on really quickly for another demo. This time I'm going to use a powder bronzer Cayman so I can show you guys how that one works. But as always, I'm gonna start with my stay spray. I actually don't have my eyes done today, so ignore the lack of lashes <laughs> and eyebrows for that matter. I really am looking for a good microblader in Virginia Beach. So if you guys know one, let me know. Anyway, starting with mango right here for under the eyes, dark circles, using my finger just for the application. Always wanna be gentle around your eye area. And then for any blemishes as well. make them disappear again you guys this is cream makeup so it's buildable coverage the more you need the more you can get I'm using wheat for my first highlight and I'm just gonna put this kind of traditional areas that you would use your foundation that you used to use, hopefully, if you're buying this, because this is so amazing, you're definitely gonna wanna switch over. I can't wait for some of you to try and show some of your before and afters. Even if it's only for you to look at, because I know you're gonna love it. So again, just kind of a light coverage day for me. I'm not going anywhere today, which means it's actually amazing I'm even putting makeup on to begin with. For those of you that know me know that's true, but I wanted to jump on because I had some questions about different types of bronzers. I know you guys can hear Kaya barking which if you know me, you also know that drives me crazy. Kaya, come here. This dog is 14, still kicking, not quite as well as she used to, but that barking, oh gosh, all right. So that's the first highlight. Then I'm gonna skip over to contouring. And I am using the Astoria color, I believe right here. And I'm just gonna contour right around here. A little underneath my jawline. cheekbones again you don't really have to blend this in too much right now we're gonna do that step at the end and then my favorite nose And then I'm gonna go in with my lightest highlight, which is linen right there. I'm gonna go straight down my bridge. If I need to touch up that contour, go back and do that. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight up here. And then I'm gonna go in and do some eye brightening. Again, this is meant to be three-dimensional makeup you want your features to shine and highlight you don't want to look one-dimensional that is what this is all about doesn't have to be perfect i also like to put some 
just a little bit right there in the center. And then the last color we're putting on right now is going to be blush. I'm using plum. area again doesn't need to be perfect if you make a mistake we can fix it very easy you can go back we're gonna blend it anyway all right so that's kind of my base if you want to call it that now what we're gonna do from there is I'm gonna take my fluffy brush this time. I'm using my airspun. Just barely a little bit, because right now I'm just going in. I'm just blending everything. Sometimes, and most of the time, I use my beauty blender But I know those little things scare some people, so I wanted to show you just another way you could do this. So you can blend in nicely. These brushes are amazing, guys. They really do work best with the product, so I would recommend when you order to ask me the best brush, and I can help you with that. They last forever. There's an amazing cleaning product that you can buy that also lasts forever and smells like cotton candy, or at least that's what Jimmy says. All right, so there we go. Yay, okay. So, like I said, I'm gonna go back with bronzer, but this time, unlike last time, I'm gonna use powder bronzer, so I'm using the Cayman right here. And I'm just gonna take that same brush, but I'm gonna use this other end. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep using the fluffy end. And I'm just gonna kind of take a little bit of it and I'm just putting that bronzer you know kind of in areas where you would traditionally you know get the most sun so anything that protrudes a little bit more from your face is where you would typically put your bronzer and I have some diagrams that actually can show you the difference in where your bronzer goes versus contour. Sometimes people get confused with that. Um, so I have some ways I can show you to remember. <laughs> Again, we don't have to make this harder than it is. All right. So almost done. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my illuminator and I'm actually just gonna use my finger for this, guys. I'm just going to put a little bit right there, a little bit right there, into my nose, bridge of my nose, and I like a little bit right there. Just to give you a little bit of that um, shimmer highlight in the areas that you want to catch the light. Ignore my fan, this is my hot flash fan, by the way, guys. So if you are experiencing things like I'm experiencing, then you know what I'm using it for. Um, and then one last time, I'm just gonna use my Airspun setting powder again with that fluffy brush. And I'm just going in. And making sure it's all set. All right, so. Other than finishing my eyes, this is less than 10 minutes and we are done and ready to go out the door. I feel presentable. I feel like I can go for the day and, um, you know, feel good about myself. So you guys message me. I can't wait for you to try this. I will get you color matched up, get you started, all the fun things that you need, and we'll go from there. Bye.